This project starts with sketching a simple side profile like this. Also make sure that the grain of the wood you're using runs horizontally, otherwise most cuts that we're making are going to be much more difficult or even unsuitable. Then we can carve away most of the wood from outside the sketch. Rough cuts work well with outside curves like this. Inside curves and corners require other techniques. A V-cut comes in very handy even in this kind of situation where I have to remove parts that could also be taken care of with rough cuts. By making this small V-cut over here I can then remove bigger chips with rough cuts. In even tighter inside corners, stop cuts are useful. Pressing the blade into the wood like this creates a tiny gap that stops the blade when making cuts like these. When getting deeper, you'll probably have to redo the first cut of the stop cut a few times. The other side works the same way. Here in the tail we can use sweeping cuts again. This right here is a good enough side profile for now. However, here we can see that the fish has too much thickness. With a small soft piece of wood like this, the slimming can be done very easily by just pressing the blade down at the spot where you want to split the wood. The next thing to do is to slim down the edges like this. After that we'll also want to make the head and the tail thinner. Leave the head rounder and make the tail somewhat flat but still thick enough so that it remains durable. Here I'm just flattening the bottom of the fish so that it doesn't fall on its side. Now it's time for some refinement. Try to make smaller cuts and give the existing shapes some smoothness and symmetry. Before we finalize the refinements, there's still one more step, thinning the fins. I'm separating these two fins down here with this angled V-cut and then refining the groove with some sweeping cuts. The fins also need to be slimmed down from the outside. A few sweeping cuts work here too. The dorsal fin, so the fin on the back, can be slimmed down like this. Now with all the different parts in place, it is easier to finalize the refinement process with a few detailing cuts. 